So we talked about the Nepo Baby <laughs> uh, label with T.I. Um, it came up again this weekend with Beyonce and Blue Ivy. Um, and a lot of people had, you know, that obviously during the Renaissance tour, Blue Ivy was on stage with mom. She was one of the dancers. And initially, there were a lot of people, not a lot of people, but there were some Nepo Baby haters who said that she didn't deserve to be on the stage. And Beyonce saw that. It turns out that she had some strong feelings about it. Um, she talked about it with the New York Times, Beyonce did, and she said um, that initially, she saw all the people who were hating on her, and she's like, you know what, this was just gonna be a one-off. Um, but she actually turned out as she stayed on stage, and Beyonce says she was incredibly proud. This is her in May when the tour started. Kind of stiff, right? But what Beyonce said is she was incredibly proud of the fact that she wanted to stay on stage, Blue Ivy did, and you can see the incredible improvement and what Beyonce says she put in the work. And can we note the fact that she is 11 years old? I, I mean- I always I, forget that. It's pretty yeah. remarkable. And I feel like Blue Ivy is the antithesis of what everyone considers when they think of Nepo babies. They think right. of people who don't have grit and who have no resilience, but she looked at the comments for herself and think about how overwhelming that must be as an 11 year old seeing all this hate. Which and is why I think Beyonce wanted to protect her, sort of mm -hmm. like you, you shouldn't get into this world because once you get up on stage, all that, that's what you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. And she yeah. got it and she actually responded and did the work very clearly. I, it's gotta be a proud moment for Beyonce and for Jay-Z, considering where it started and what the reaction was. Because I remember by the end of the tour, the comments that people were leaving, I saw were incredibly positive about Blue Ivy's performance. 